Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chastin Whitfield and today we are gonna go fishing again, but this is kind of like a little last minute thing. Um, my brother just got back from school and he's like, hey, you wanna go try and fish some docks and see what happens? I said, heck yeah. So we're gonna go fish some docks for about an hour or so. We got a little bit of daylight left, so got some shrimp and we're gonna fish docks and see what happens. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell button. Thing, I'm a jiggy thing. Let's get the boat loaded and let's go. Grab it, see if it's a full tree. Don't get your sh shirt wet. Oh. Is it a full tree? Oh, oh, that's not as, all right, never mind. What are you <laughs> all right, so we are going to be fishing some docks with some shrimp. My ear's sticking out of my hat that bothers me. We got some reels right here. We got little setups, they have, um, um, where to go? I don't know where it is, but oh, it's all the way up there. Okay, so there's little pinch weights on it with a one knot circle hook. So if you catch any snapper, the circle hook will fit right into its mouth. If you use anything bigger than that, the fish are gonna have a hard time getting that in their mouth because it's too big. So we're gonna try it. It's very cold, so um, you can go catch bait, but personally, I'm too cold, so I don't want to throw the cast in this. So I'm not going to. We have some frozen shrimp and we also have some live shrimp. Let's see if I can. Fisher, what is it? Fisher, get your head out of there. So we got some live shrimp too. So we're gonna see what will happen. Hopefully we'll catch some snappers, some sea bass, so we can eat some dinner. So the frozen shrimp is like really frozen. Fisher! No, you don't get any. So um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in it and fish her, stop. And that'll help it defrost quicker. Oh, that water's cold. So just a little bit of water and then close it on up. This is really hard to do with one hand. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're just gonna let this sit in the sun for a little bit and use some live shrimp in the meantime. We had the trolling motor in now, so we are up in the wind, so we can sit back and fish this dock right here and go back with it. And yeah, so let's get it. There's a lot of boats out today too. It's the second one that's passed us. So this is our little setup right here. We got 20 pound leader. Ooh, let me get with this, there we go. All right, so this is our setup right here. We got 20 pound leader with a little pinch weight, couple inches from the hook, one knot circle hook, and a shrimp hooked in the tail. So, let's drop her down and see what happens. All right, so I'm just gonna set that up like that. And let's see what happens. Pull it. Okay, I'm getting a fish. There we go. What are you doing? Oh my, what is this thing? Oh, sea bass. Sea bass, 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 sea bass. Fisher, Fisher, Bubby, you can't. <laughs> oh my gosh, Fisher, you can't get this. Got a nice little sea bass right here. Look how torn up his tail is. Wow, thank you for eating that. Oh, don't open your mouth like that. Okay. All right, straighten it out. I'm gonna lay you down. I need you to lay down. Oh, he's well over ten. Look at that. Okay, you know what? He's just gonna. <sighs> okay, finish. Get, get it out of you. Get it out of you. Yep, yep, get him. Get him, poodle. Get him. Get him, poodle. Get him. So if you hear a weird noise, that's um, the live was on. I just had to turn it on because we got a fish in the boat. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, Caden, get us back over to that spot, please. My mom's in the water. Why are you going backwards? 
Caden, 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 turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Caden, Caden, turn it it's off and off. point it that it's way. Off. Point it that way. You're going backwards. But that will scare the fish away. It's not going to. We need to be up there so we can fish against. No. What the foot? No. Caden, you can't sit like this with a trolling motor. You have to sit like that. Yeah. Okay, this is professional. Oh my god. Back us up. You gotta learn somehow. You gotta learn somehow. Trial and error. It's all about trial and error. <laughs> I'm mature. Fish is over here waiting for a fish. He's like, can y'all catch something yet? Right, Fisher? Right? This isn't a fish. I'm sorry. It's not a fish at all. You put us in the right spot. I, I wasn't, though. I was in the exact same spot. Oh, get him! Get him! And I'm on the bottom again. What else is new? Fisher, what is it? It's your friend! Oh my god. Dude, are you gonna start walking? Oh! Hold this! Oh man, I missed him. Can I turn it around? No! So this is what I get for trying to film and fish, Caden. Oh, damn. I'm so strong. <laughs> eh, eh, hold on. That was mine though. <laughs> you break your lines. So I have to tie it for you and then you take mine. It's just sitting up here all innocent like oh, I already licked eight. Oh. Oh. Are you seriously hung? Oh, oh I was trying. Here you go. Wait, I still need this to get... <laughs> Well, hold on, I gotta fix your mess. So, okay if I push him in, Mom? Is it? He was sitting on the motor earlier, and he was like, if I fall in, it's your fault. Get your mouth, Corona, okay. COVID. Nasty. COVID. Ah. We're good. You hear that pop? Don't use your teeth. Always use your teeth. Can Hey, Use do your not teeth pull that. Weights, as many weights as you can. Use Look, your teeth. this is taking so much. Let go. Let I'm Hayden. holding it so the wind doesn't catch me. If you hook me in the hand, I will ruin your day. Why did the shrimp just fall in the water? It's a shrimp that just went pop and now I turn away. Why are we getting closer I'll to the dock, bait, Caden? Dude. Did you hit something on the trolling motor? Ah, see yeah, to see them take your bait. Caden, get that other rod. Son of a biscuit. I'm gonna use it. Uh, tell him what it died. Oop. Don't mess with it. You need to hit anchor. Alright. Hit the button. Yep. Go up there. And aim it at it. I just punched my hand slip and Give I just punched it. myself in the stomach. Give me it. What? 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 On it. Oh my. Whoa, look, 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 look. Hit the gap. Get the gap. What is that? No, get thing? the net. Like, those that. are sea bass that followed it off. They're, They're like mahi. All right, Caden, get, get it in the, the boat. Net, I think I got him. Get it, get it in the boat, Caden. Dude, get it the might net, be Jay. ten. Get the oh gap. Gosh, I got him. Get I got the same one. Hold on. I want to get it. All right. Wait, what, what are you doing? My fingers are so cold. Knocking on up. Oh my sorry. goodness. He, you pinched that tail. That's thirteen. Uh, maybe. Twelve and a half. Hey, that's still keeper. They gotta be ten. All right. Let and then meanwhile, Caden's go, trying go, to net go, the other guy. Like, open the bale. Let him. Let him run. Yeah. All right, Fisher, move. Or four. All right. Gotta be ten. Fisher, move. Oh, he's eleven. He's eleven. If she, if he shuts his mouth, he might be taller. Why are you so? <laughs> Make sure you want the gas. Get hit. Caden? No, there's a circle hunt. Oh, you got one. He was honking at me. Oh, my goodness. I'm again. Get him. Oh, he's good. In the wild he goes. I'm hung again. I literally quit. I quit. Have a fishy, fishy. Swing and a miss. No, I gotta 
can't end on a good note. Well, then let me fish. No, I have to end on a good note, or I will not be able to sleep tonight. Fish, you got blood, blood on your clothes. Oh, yeah, I got that. Mom, look real, at this thing. Real, 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 Mom, look real. at this thing. Aww, Mom, look at this thing. Mom, look at this thing. Mom, look at this thing. We don't believe it. Because it's better than what the goofy shit you guys do with this stuff. You're goofy shit that you do. Oh, I got a fish and it went around the wall. Whoa! Big and broke. Oh, maybe. Okay, move. Okay, move. You're in the way of the camera. Oh, he's barely hooked. Get him in the boat. Oh. He's on. Oh. Barely hooked. Look at that. Must add two lot circle hook. It's just staring on down. Barely hooked. Look at all this poop. That's awesome. That's amazing. We got, I don't even know how many snapper. We're headed back to the dock now. So we're gonna, what did I say? Snapper? I meant, um, sea bass. We got a couple sea bass. I don't know how many, but we're gonna go back to the dock and count them. Oh, gosh. Oh, fish are gone. Look how pretty that Florida sunset is. I'm going to start with the trash can. All right, we're going to take this and put it back in the water. So we have more for tomorrow. Splash. some ice and we are going to clean them tomorrow because as you can see we're running out of daylight so that would be better for the video if we just do it tomorrow and also yeah so let's go put them on, put them on ice now and our handy dandy new ice machine good morning so now i gotta fillet some fish um i'm gonna go get a bucket oh i need my knives that might be important let me go grab those real quick oopsies glove because I fill the fish with a glove because I don't want to end up cutting a finger off. So I got a glove as well. I'm gonna go get a bucket, come back up here and grab that um, the fish out of the cooler because I can't pick up that heavy cooler by myself. Woo, tell me. Alright, so I got my bucket of fish. Now to head down to the cleaning table. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do before I start cutting them is I'm going to rinse them off because they're frozen and they have a bunch of slime on them and that'd be very slippery. That would not be fun. So, a new Mustad nine inch fillet knife. I'm just imagine that sound effect like. right behind this little fin right here bling bling right behind that fin just like that all the way down so you can't and then you spin it around follow this little um this little fin right here i'm totally drawing a blank i am not remembering what dorsal fin i remember it now and then we just go up and down follow the spine and then this is when wearing a glove comes in handy. You gotta pick up that fillet right there and just scrape your um, knife 
along the spine just like that. Cut that spine right out of there. This fish is very cold. Now sea bass meat is kind of like hogfish. There's no bloodline in it and it's super white like that. Good little filet right there. And then it should, the end result should look like that. Mwah. Usually. 90% of the time it looks like that. So now, do it to this side. Just like that. And then you take it and go whoop. All done. Now the next one. Right, so I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. So I just filleted the sea bass and look, there's little uh, like snails in here. I can't tell if they're snails or crabs or what, but they were in that fish's stomach. That's crazy. I didn't know that they ate like full snails like that. Wow. Okay, so now that all the fish are um, filleted, now we gotta take the skin off. So. For this part, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your fish like this, have the tail end towards you. If you have nails, dig them into here. If you don't, that's totally okay. You can just use your fingers, but you're just gonna very carefully slide the knife in underneath it and you're just gonna flay like that. And if you can't get a good grip on it, like I can't right now, cause it's so slimy, you can use your hand like that, hold it down, and just kinda cut at an angle. So you get all the meat off like that. And then you take this, throw that away, put that right there, put it in its own pile, and do it with the rest of them. Once you get all, all of the um, skin off of them, you're gonna take the fillets and put them down and then you can kinda go like this along the fillet with your finger and you can feel bones right there. So you're just gonna hold it down and cut it out just like that and that is nothing but bones or throw that away Take your finger just like that and that one's all good I'm gonna do that with every single piece because I don't know if y'all have ever found fish with bones in it and it hurts and it's dangerous it'll cut your throat and uh, it's just not fun not fun so double check and make sure that there are no bones with every single piece like that. I don't usually fillet with, an, with my back looking broken like that, but uh, this, is, this is the only place where my camera will go, so it's just where it's going to hang out. So I'm just going to do it from down here. Bones in that one. It's a good little chicken fish nugget thing. Now that that's all done, I'm going to rinse each piece and then put it in a Ziploc. And then you're all set. You're good to go. You can put it in the fridge and then wait for dinner or you can cook it now, whichever you want to do. All right, so this is what the end result should look like. Five sea bass in a little Ziploc baggie. We've got some good little fish nuggets going on. I want you guys to go down in the comments and comment your favorite way to cook fish. So if you guys have a different way of cooking fish, comment it, comment it, and maybe that will be in my next video. I'll learn a new way to cook fish. I only know blackened, grilled, and fried. I only know three, but that's okay. So comment down below and tell me how y'all like to cook your fish. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped. So now if you guys are going out and you're like, no, let's just go mess around for a little bit. You can just go fish some docks with some, with some shrimp, dead or alive, doesn't even matter. And you'll be able to catch some dinner and have fun. So on that note, do not forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button thing. So y'all get notified every time I post a video. I post videos weekly, every Wednesday. And that's what my channel is all about. It's all about having fun, getting outside, and fishing. We do a lot of pretty much anything outside 
it's fishing, hunting, or just goofing off, just being funny and stupid outside. It's all about being outside, and that's all what Chastination is about. Chastination is my nonprofit, and what we do is we take disadvantaged kids fishing, so like kids in wheelchairs, kids with spina bifida, cancer, all that stuff. And we give them a chance to forget about their medical problems and just focus on catching fish. Just for a day, even if it's for five minutes. Just get their mind off of what they're always worried about and get them catching a fish. You'll see a lot of just me fishing, just going out, goofing around, trying to catch fish. Sometimes I don't even catch fish. And that's why they call it fishing and not catching. That's just, that's just how it be. But even if I don't catch anything, it's still all about being outside, learning new little tricks with fishing, learning how to adapt to whatever's going on on the water. Like if it's super windy, then you do this. If it's not windy, then you do that. All sorts of that fun stuff. That is all what I'm about. Having fun, fishing, and staying outside, getting outside. That bird is so loud. But anyways, thank you guys so much and I hope to see you next week.